Well, the 18th century apple cider was a staple at every family table in America. Uh, harvesting apples pressed into cider remained careful into barrels to store for the winter and for eating. Um, Peter Kaum, a Swedish naturalist, noted in 1749 that every home on Staten Island now had uh, a small orchard. Uh, by 1775, one of ten New England families um, were farmers and had cider mills on the property. During the 1700s, the average American would drink about 35 gallons of cider a year. Now, in um, recording a letter to his wife Abigail, John Adams complained explicitly about the quality of cider in Philadelphia alcohols and he was homesick for her cider. Now, Thomas Jefferson grew several apples of variety there and his wife Martha oversaw the harvesting and the brewing while she was still mistress of the, of the plantation. Now the taste for hard cider continued to grow uh, until it reached prohibition and the import of more and more Germans and, and the liking for beer. Our generation grew up without cider pretty much. But cider has always been a staple. It has um, some interesting backgrounds to it. Uh, hard cider kept early Americans nourished and healthy. They couldn't drink the water, so they would drink the cider. It also had the nutrients in it. Um, hard cider paid the bills. It was a currency when money was really of no value, and they would trade cider for different uh, items. It, um, and it kept other foods safe. Of course, from the use of cider, they made vinegar and this allowed them to be able to do more canning and preserving of their food. Um, hard cider was even served at the bottle of Concord. Uh, an enterprising man went to both sides during a lull and sold cups of cider to both soldiers. Um, now, one of the biggest mysteries that we still have, Thomas Jefferson's favorite apple, apple the Tolliver, uh, was discovered by a major Tolliver in Williamsburg. He gave a grafting of it to Mr. Jefferson. He said it was the best cider apple of the world. Um, it has more body, is less acidic, and come closest to the silky champagne than any other apple. This is a mysterious apple at Monticello. It has been lost. No one can find this variety anywhere. Um, apple pomologists all over the world have tried to recreate this apple. They can't find it. So Mr. Jefferson, as usual, leaves us with the conundrum. Um, and so as we contemplate his cider, which he considered malt liquors and cider as his table drink uh, in a very important part of his life.